The Cobalt Digital 9904 UDX 4K card for the Open Gear platform is a professional video and audio up down cross converter and frame synchronizer. It's capable of 4K and 2K high dynamic range or HDR conversion, powered by Technicolor, recipient of the Lumiere Award, the highest honor bestowed by the Advanced Imaging Society. The 9904 has rich input output connectivity, including 12 gigabits per second SDI, an HDMI 2.0 output, and optional two 10 gig SFP ports capable of SEMTI 2110 IP or SDI fiber connectivity. Let's talk about how the 9904 can help you convert standard dynamic range or SDR video to HDR and vice versa. With its plus 3D LUT or plus 3D LUT 4K options, the 9904 can import the vast library of static 3D LUTs and camera profiles from Wonderlook or Live Grade software. A 3D LUT is a 3D lattice of output RGB color values that can be indexed by sets of input RGB color values. The 9904 implements a full 33-bit depth map for each RGB value for maximum quality. As changes are made within the software, those changes take place on top of the static LUT, providing dynamic control to the operator. Cobalt supports more than 10 updates per second, with low latency for a smooth user experience. Device support for the 9904 UDX 4K is available in the Wonderlook software in the settings area. Under the third party LUT boxes section, select the Cobalt 9904 UDX box. Then select the fixed IP box, which will bring up a window to enter the IP address of your 9904 unit. The IP address can be found and configured in the Network Settings tab of the 9904 card in Dashboard. Once complete, the 9904 will show up in the device list. Back in Dashboard, navigate to the 3D LUT tab to enable the 3D LUT engine. Edits can then be made in the Wonderlook software to change from SDR to HDR and HDR to SDR. The Cobalt 9904 also supports intelligent SDR to HDR conversion with its plus HDR ITM or plus HDR ITM 4K options. ITM stands for Intelligent Tone Mapping, which is Technicolor's award-winning algorithm that automatically optimizes the output image without operator involvement after the initial setup. To assist customers with different requirements, the ITM offers three distinct modes. In each mode, the input colorimetry can be either BT709 or BT2020. The input range can be legal, expanded, or full. The desired output selections are Bypass, PQ, HLG, or S-Log3. The target NIT value can be adjusted to meet any value. In preset mode, the user can select between 28 pre-configured settings differentiated by brightness and contrast. Additional controls include a limiter, adjustment of saturation levels, and sharpness. In manual mode, a mask is provided that allows for fine-tuning of the thresholds between highlights, mid-tones, and shadows. The black shows areas that will be adjusted by the shadows cut. The white shows areas adjusted by the highlight cut, and the gray shows the mid-tones. These controls help to define the detail in the darkest and lightest regions of the video. In auto mode, the algorithm will adjust settings automatically based on the incoming content. Fine-tune adjustments can be made to the unit at the beginning of an event, but after that, the ITM process will make any adjustments due to changing lighting conditions during the event. While the delay through the card is fixed, the transitions between scenes can be customized through the temporal filter controls. Contrast controls help determine how sensitive the ITM algorithm will be to changes in the lighting environment.
The ITM algorithm also includes advanced bright spot detection, which will isolate smaller points of light from larger bright spots within the frame. This way, when the light intensity increases from an SDR image to the brighter HDR image, lighting speculars won't be drowned out by larger areas of light. A powerful denoising engine is included, as legacy SDR content will often come with a fair bit of noise. The ability to adjust the noise within the shadows and highlights helps to keep image detail. A debanding threshold is provided to eliminate banding in 8-bit content. For intelligent HDR to SDR conversion, the Cobalt 9904 with the Plus SL HDR or Plus SL HDR 4K option is required. The SLHDR tone mapping algorithm from Technicolor will automatically adjust the color volume for optimal image processing. To start, select the conversion mode between Bypass, HDR to SDR Tone Mapping, SLHDR, or HDR OETF Convert. Bypass will simply bypass the SLHDR conversion engine. HDR to SDR Tone Mapping will engage the SLHDR conversion engine. Input settings give the options to select the peak luminance, range, OETF curve, and colorimetry of the input video. The output video will always be SDR, and the output range will follow the input range. A region of interest control allows the intelligent conversion to focus on the central portion of the video frame, eliminating border graphics from affecting the frame-by-frame -frame analysis. Controls for lift pushes and pulls are at the darker portions of the image. It affects more than just the dark parts, but has the strongest amount of influence there. Controls for gain, pushes and pulls are at the brighter levels in the image. Again, it affects all brightness levels within an image, but gives more weight to the highlights. Shadow cut and gain allows for some adjustment to the detail within the darker regions of the image while highlight cut and gain allows for some adjustment to the detail within the lighter regions of the image. The SLHDR mode is similar to the HDR to SDR tone mapping mode, but adds metadata to the SDR signal for downstream equipment to regenerate the HDR signal. HDR OETF Convert allows for cross-conversion between HDR formats. Simply select the input format and the desired output format, for example, if we wanted to convert an HLG source to PQ source, we simply select the desired transform curve in the output selection area. Cobalt provides multiple types of metadata support. The most common type of metadata support is static metadata. Static metadata helps the monitor adapt the absolute luminance of the HDR signal to the monitor's capabilities. In the Cobalt user interface, this is referred to as HDR info frame insertion and can be found in the HDMI section of the output video format tab. Both the OETF and gamut can be customized from this page. The metadata type will be determined by the output video format such as HLG or PQ. Dynamic metadata, on the other hand, changes from frame to frame and is provided along with the SLHDR1 or SLHDR2 process. SLHDR1 provides metadata when converting an HDR signal to SDR, so the SDR signal can be converted back to HDR within an HDR-capable television or set-top box. SLHDR2 provides dynamic metadata for HDR video with a PQ10 base layer so the receiving monitor can maximize its display capabilities. Thanks for watching this introduction to Cobalt Digital 9904 UDX 4K with HDR. For more information on this and other Cobalt products, please visit www.cobaltdigital.com. Cobalt Digital, engineering beyond the signal.